start off this makeup look, I will be using my Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline and putting that all over my face. It just ensures that I won't get any oil on my face while I'm walking around or anything like that. And for really good coverage, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in the color NW20 and just putting that on with a beauty blender. Just blending this in super well. Looking back, I see a setting sun Watch my shadow fade into the floor and I'm still blending away. Hide any redness or any marks. I will be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW25. Putting that on again with the same beauty blender on my chin, underneath my eyes, my nose, and my forehead. We come together. To set everything, I will be using my CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder in the color Translucent Fair with a regular Sephora face brush. I really just want to make sure that this stuff is on because this helps keep the oil from coming onto my skin and kind of just messing up my makeup, so that's why I kind of blend it a lot. And I'm also going in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and putting that on the hollows of my cheeks my jawline, my forehead, and kind of just giving that nice little contoured tan look. Plus the bronzer is matte so I absolutely love the finished look and now I'm moving on to my eyebrows. I will be using my MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow in charcoal brown and also just an eyebrow comb from Ulta and also an angled eyeshadow brush from Ulta as well. Is just a better look at the color charcoal brown and I'm just simply just putting that in my eyebrows in little strokes and making sure it blends super well because you know you don't want your eyebrows to be too dark and you want it to look semi-natural. For my eyeshadow, this Too Faced Natural Eye Palette has been my go-to palette for a long time. So I'm taking the first color, which is Honey Pot, which is this beautiful gold, and I'm just putting that on my lid and kind of just blending it out pretty easily. Now I'm going in with an angled eyeshadow brush with the color Cocoa Puff from that same palette and I'm doing a kind of crease cut with this. It is okay if it looks really messy in the beginning because we are just going to blend it and it's going to look amazing. I just find I love the way it looks with this gold color and it's just perfect for any time of the day and for also any event that you may be going to. This is the really important part is to take the most fluffy brush that you have and start blending out and a little bit into the inner V, I guess you would call it. And um, I'm just blending up and I just love the way how messy it looks and it just looks effortless. I just think that it's a really pretty look and um, I think the messier it is, the better it looks. So go ahead and blend. And I'm just cleaning off a little bit of the excess eyeshadow. I just touched up the gold eyeshadow a little bit and um, kind of just blended it all together. And on a clean fluffy brush, I'm taking the color Day and I'm putting that on my brow bone for a little bit of a highlight. Going back into the palette, I will also be taking the color Cocoa Puff again and then lining that underneath my eyes on both of my eyes of course. It doesn't really matter if it looks messy because it's just gonna look better in the end. And there's no really best way how to achieve this look with brushes so I made sure my hands were clean before I did this and I just blended it on my bottom lash line and um, the smokier it looks, like I said before, the messier it looks, the better it looks so um, yeah you can just do that. And now taking my beauty blender I'm just cleaning it up a little bit for any excess shadow that has fallen. And yeah, I'm going straight into eyeliner, which is my All May Liquid Eyeliner. I am just doing a straight line of eyeliner, no wing, kind of just keeping it really simple. This 
how it looks so far. Next, we are just going to curl our lashes. So I'm taking my Revlon eyelash curler and just simply and lightly curling them just to give them a little bit more of length. And yeah. I'm sure you guys know my go-to mascara is my Cinderella mascara by MAC Cosmetics and it is just amazing. I'm putting on one to two coats and then I'm putting it on my bottom lashes just on the outer part so it doesn't drain out the whole look. With just some extra powder I'm just making sure there's no more excess eyeshadow on my face. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the final look. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I love you. Bye.